Hey guys, uh, my name is Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Uh, as usual, we have way too much happening here. We are going to do, oh yeah, stuffed burgers. Watch this. All right, so first thing we're going to do is get this bacon flipped. Da -da -da. Just kind of making the last of the toppings here. There we go. And then once that's done, we can settle in and make a few things. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a... Whoop! <laughs> Shoot across the grill. <laughs> as long as you commit, right? There you go. Oh, perfect. So, I think I got what I need for this part. Let me go ahead and rub that onions through the bacon grease. Isn't that a good idea? Onions? Nice, huh? <laughs> we got our skewers here. We got our stuff ready for our burgers. So this bacon all saved, this bacon is chopped. We're looking good over here. And let's stuff some burgers. Come on over here, man, this is cool. So guys, here's what you do. First thing that I noticed, and here's a little tip I'm gonna give you, is you absolutely have to oil these things. So every time you do one of these, you're really gonna have to oil or pan all of these parts really well because man, do they like to stick. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that part, put that part in there. Uh, the way these things works is you get, it's a two-step process. You get this part here that you're gonna go ahead and as centered as you can, oh, well, there we go. Go ahead and just press that down, just like that. Now it comes out and it's like a big suction cup. So you kind of have to, Work around. All right, so here, see what happened? It made like the, the little divot there and like a ledge and something to fold over. Let's do uh, what we chopped up here. I love bacon blue cheese burgers. So come on in here. We got some blue cheese and you just fill that little cavity just like that. And then we're gonna take that bacon that we chopped and we're gonna give them one of those. You hungry yet? So I'm gonna fold the sides in like that. But now you need a top. I learned that you wanna take this patty paper, you can't spend better money than on patty paper if you're a burger person. So now what you're gonna do is instead of just putting that ball on top and letting that thing try and do all the work, make the disc first. And then you're gonna take this part, right? Pop it on like that. And then you just kind of flatten it out. Come on, that's so perfect. All right, I'm gonna put that one away. I'm gonna take a little bit of the garlic butter. We're gonna make a bacon burger dog in this one. So for this one, we need that bacon and that garlic and the hot dogs that we just made.
Are you seeing that? <laughs> That's the bacon and blue cheese one, man. Holy cow, we gotta open up a restaurant. This one is a pizza one. We'll just cut one open there. All right, here we go. Man, if this isn't making you hungry, I, I don't know what is. I, I, I could never do it. Guys, in honor of National Pizza Day, there is a pizza burger with mozzarella, pepperoni, sauce, onions, oh! <laughs> and last but not least, this one is Gouda. You bet it's Gouda. Uh, it's a Gouda. Right, here we go. Oh, I'm this is like my favorite thing in the world to do, the reveal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> last one. This is our cheddar burger. Guys, I am so glad you joined us for Stuffed Burger Day. Like I said, I can't believe it's been so long and I haven't tried one of these. Thank you so much for joining us today. Guys, my name is Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Try these burgers. They are out of this world. We'll see you next time.